Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And we got it online. His name is Ming Tang Gu. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Brad. How are you? What, what part of the world are you in? I'm in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, I've been there. That's a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. Out of nowhere, but it's magical. <laughs> it is. It is. Very, uh, they got the, the aliens out there by Roswell, right? Right. Anything <laughs> is possible here. <laughs> what I liked about that place is the people, the shop owners would come out on the street and they'd just talk to each other. It was very open. Right. Uh, yeah. Everybody knows everybody. It's so true. People are really friendly, very open, very open to each other. Also very earthly, you know, grounded, really authentic. Yeah. It's Love a very spiritual part. place. Yeah. It's like, uh, like yeah. Sedona. Right. Yes. Yeah, kind of similar vibe. I think it's more grounded here than Sedona. I love Sedona too, of course. You know, I've been to most of the states, but not Arizona. So I got to try something. <laughs> so how long have you lived in Sedona or uh, Santa Fe? Yeah, only three and a half years now, Brad. Mm -hmm. I used to live in the Bay Area. So move here to open our center. And you're married, got kids, or you not yeah i have a couple of kids a son and daughter and then my wife and that keeps you busy yes <laughs> that's right hope you froze up a little bit there i think you had to come back come on back come on back that's what life is there it goes <laughs> in a, in a connection froze up a very bit. purposeful meaningful I'm noticing, do you see me okay? Or I see you freeze yeah. a little bit last. We froze up a little bit, so we'll do some magic. Okay. <laughs> a little bit better? Yeah. 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 We got a little bit of a bad connection there. I think so, yeah. Let me see. See if it's on my end, I had some windows open. Maybe that'll help. Right, okay, I will do the same thing. Close and then mute it. Yeah, the internet is amazing, but there's only so much, so much room. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. Can you imagine nowadays, what's the, um, the traffic, the internet traffic's happening? Exactly, because people aren't at work, they're online now. Right, huh? right, right. Did okay. Yep, yeah. that's much better. Good, good. Very good. So I looked through some of your stuff. Your specialty is the good old meditation, yes? Yes, meditation in a bigger range, including movie meditation, sound meditation, sitting meditation, but mainly is really working with energy as well. The power of mind, power of consciousness. See, a lot of people used to, I mean, back in the day, I used to meditate. I remember I got a little uh, thing in the mail. It had a, a diagram and showed you how to lay down on the ground and everything. This is back, I'm 63 years old, so that <laughs> was way back. But it's become more mainstream now. I think a lot of people are meditating and they're realizing that there's a lot of ways to do so. Can you, can you summarize what meditation is in like a couple of sentences? Um, <laughs> I can only summarize from a point of view of wisdom, healing, qigong. As you said, there's a many different kind of uh, meditation technique and many kind of benefit of meditation. That's why I become so popular nowadays. So as I mentioned, wisdom, healing, qigong focus on two things. One is the power of the mind, secondly, the power of energy, but uniting the mind and energy, creating another magic, another magic. So really the three aspects in all practice we do, one is pure awareness, become more aware. Awareness of your body, awareness of energy, awareness of the internal, external connect. Then the second is connection. You're working with the intention, 
working with your attention to connect with energy, connect with life, specific ways, yeah. Then the third is really embodiment. You're not only working with the subtle energy, but bring the subtle energy into your body, into your heart, into your five organ system, into your cells with a new energy quality or vibration such as loving kindness, such as compassion, such as the joy and deeper creativity, deeper awareness. So that's the three aspect is present, very essential in all practice we do or meditation. Would you say, like, to simplify, that uh, sometimes we're in our brain, which has the left and the right hemisphere, and it's sort of, we're, we're thinking logically or thinking emotionally, and then by meditating, you can kind of get that out of the way and get into more of the feeling of things as opposed, like, a, like the mind is different than the brain, yes? Mm, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, using the mind to understand, I mean, using the brain to understand the mind can be helpful. But the mind is much more than the brain. So, <laughs> so yes, there's corresponding correspondence how we function mentally, how the brain is activated. So that kind of level of correspondence can help us to understand. But um, in general, I think um, meditation is not about just get ready of you know the the mental activity associating with the left brain or right brain. It's more about uh, in, in the wisdom healing Qigong meditation, it's more about, on one hand, is activating the central brain. It's not just one way of thinking, one way of feeling. It's activating the central brain, allow the connection of the whole brain. So the left brain, right brain can connect. The front, the back of the brain can connect. So all aspects of yourself coming back to a sense of cohesiveness, a sense of integration, a sense of union. And because the nature of this practice is about working with energy, recognizing the energy encompassing all dimensions of who we are, including the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, including the fundamental function of left side brain function, right side brain or front and back. So that this whole brain energy function, that's how we perceive it. Yeah. Are you familiar with, I'm sure that uh, the, the heart-centered meditation where you're focusing rather than in your head, you go right to the heart as opposed to the exactly. head? Exactly. So when we are working with energy, <laughs> you're not engaged with only just the brain. You go into your whole body and the heart is, we think of the heart as the entrance to your subconscious realm, to your emotional realm, to your deep energetic realm of your whole body. It's like you have to open in that gate first. If the heart is closed, you cannot go further, so to speak, right? <laughs> it's a gateway. So it's like uh, there's a beautiful saying, the human journey, the, the most difficult human journey is really sh very short. It's only a few inches from here to here. <laughs> so to come back to the heart is so important. So you have to open the heart. But the journey is continuing deeper into the entire body, deeper dimension of your body. So not just stopping the heart. The heart is the entrance beyond your mental dimension, beyond your thinking, beyond your mental busyness or stress. So you can get that, into your- I know that my brain, as soon as I wake up in the morning, my brain starts firing. I start thinking, thinking, thinking. And so right, I mean, right. The only way I can get away from thinking is to think about one thing like my breath. You can just think about my breath. And I, I struggle with, oh, there's got to be more than just your breath. Start thinking about something else. And I got to get back centered. It's so, so hard sometimes for that chattered mind. Do you have some techniques, possibly some tips for a person to be able to you know, get away yeah. from that? They're all different kind of technique can help. But I think the main orientation in this process of uh, connection, our new choice, is really feeling your body, feeling your body. So breath allows to feel your body. Connecting with your heart allows yourself feeling your body. And um, doing different movement allow you connecting with your body. Doing the sound allow you to connect your body. So that is the number one in secret, the key, most important. 
if anything help you not only connecting with your body, but also allow you to able to sustain this connection. You're not like, okay, you're feeling your body's moment, the mind come down a little bit, you know, uh, take a vacation from the busy, you know, mind, busy story. But if you not sustaining this connection, then the mind going back to the story again, going back to, you know, the busyness again. So whatever you're doing, not only able to take a break from the mental stress, but also feeling the continuous connection with your body, then you can feel the ongoing connection, ongoing relaxation, ongoing wholeness, basically. So it gets out of the logical element of things and more into the feeling emotional element of things, perhaps. Exactly. So when you come back to from the feeling of energy, feeling even emotion, then you come back to the thinking is in a different way, more energized. Mm -hmm. yeah, more and getting into maybe some of the impossible because I've had situations where I'm, I'm driving and I know that it's going to take me more than half an hour to get to where I got to go. And I'm going to be late because I just can't possibly make it. It's rush hour traffic. I'm going slow. Yet I still make it. Logically, it doesn't make any sense. But I still got there. How did that happen? I know. I know what do you mean. <laughs> you can suspend time. You can suspend logical thinking. You can be more present in this moment. Then things happen more smoothly more effectively yeah and also more importantly is more beneficially and when more you're healthy, present. less stressful because if you're stuck in i'm not going to make it i'm not going to make it i'm going to be late then you get stressed yeah. out that's not yeah. good for your heart yeah not only you're stressing the energy in your body but actually believe it or not you're stressing the whole traffic <laughs> so as a result <laughs> <laughs> then you know you're more delayed <laughs> the whole traffic is more congested so you start feeling everybody have else's energy. opening yeah the congestion of your internal traffic first <laughs> so do you do do you teach classes live or online do you speak do you have a book how do you so yeah we offer you know all kind of programs i feel nowadays uh, Everything is available online and there's so much information, all kind of, you know, tradition, all kind of modality, all kind of therapeutic, you know, approach and so on available. But I think what's missing is the practice. And, you know, information doesn't mean transformation. It takes transformative effort, practice to realize the true benefit. So nowadays, I feel so much information available, but what we need more is more practice. So that's where we create a lot of resources available for you know, everybody to start at the convenience of home, especially slow the internet, slow this new technology. So a person could sit there and read a book on meditation all day long, but that's not really gonna really help unless you actually put it into practice, start doing it, feel it. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So that's and the creating of structure so you can repeat in this process over and over again. That is also important. Is that something you have in place on a website or something that the person can participate with other people? Yeah, I want to share, you know, some resources in this program, especially free resources. We have abundant resources available. When there's a three meditation practice every week. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, they're free. Starting 8.30 mountain times, people join from all over the world and about one hour. So that is free to the public. Then also we have uh, uh, resources created for this program. You can access on your own time, including an ebook as well practice video to enhance your immune system. So that's available below the website called ancienthealingsecrets.com. Ancient Healing Secrets. Of so three words, three words. Ancienthealingsecrets.com. Yes, okay, I have to remember you that. You got it. <laughs> See, I, like I said, I used to meditate when I was a kid because I was in gymnastics and things. So you do that visualization and I 
got a Taekwondo martial arts background, so we'd meditate you know, prior to that. But here I am at 63 and I've got a real good friend that does breath work and things and yet he teaches yoga and meditation. And it's so different to be able to be heart-centered. I remember I was taking a class from a guy and I said, so you go from your head to your heart. He goes, no, you go to your heart. Yeah, your head to your heart. No, 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 go to your heart. <laughs> he says not to go past that head, get the head out of the way, don't think. He gets mad when you say, don't think, don't think. <laughs> yeah, that's important. But on the other hand, how to use think, you can also enter your heart, starting with the intention, starting with uh, the openness, the creative mind as well. <laughs> well, you know, um, I don't like to do these too long because of the, the amount of time people have to view them and things. So if you could share, uh, again, any other websites. So the, that one was Ancient Healing Secrets? Secrets. AncientHealingSecrets.com. Are there any other websites how people can get a hold of you and find you? Or yes, is that again, as I mentioned, you can join the live stream practice free for the public. And that is ChiCenter.com, C-H-I Center dot com then forward slash chi tv chi tv chi tv <laughs> that's fun to say <laughs> <laughs> for more chi more energy <laughs> strong very dose of chi every day <laughs> well very good well ming tong i appreciate you taking the time to be on synergy cafe i'm gonna take this recording and then beam it up to youtube and then i put it on the website i'll send you a link or to missy and she can get it to you yes okay yes wonderful Thank you Thank so you very much. much. Appreciate you taking what the time. You Thank you. Yes, appreciate it. Yeah, welcome. You're welcome. Blessing, blessing Monday for you. <laughs>